Welcome, everyone, to The Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212 and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. All right, so I want to talk about box office numbers because uh, we had a jump with Justice League, um, and right now it stands at $567 million. So a lot better than $500 million yeah. that they said it was before. Um, but analysts are saying that it's not going to reach – Man of Steel numbers, and for that they said they considered it a failure. Uh, Man of Steel basically generated um, worldwide 668 million. Okay, Ooh. we know Batman vs Superman made a lot more, like 875 million, something like that. Um, so they're they're saying that it's not going to again. Anything could happen. I, I just everybody who says like they know what's going to happen. It, you don't know. Nobody really knows yeah. what could happen. The other day we're talking it was 496. Today it's 567, okay? Um, and that's what it is. Now, it, it all depends on if it drops off. If it starts dropping like flies, money-wise, then it's in trouble, all right? I don't know how it's going to be this week. This may be the last week of it, or maybe it has another week entirely. Yeah. Um, Again, it, there's other movies coming out, but I don't think there's anything strong enough this week to really affect the box office. Now, Thor is at $816 million and still making money. So just keep that in mind. Um, we also got word that we're, we are going to get finally the Jurassic Park uh, – I'm sorry, Jurassic World uh, 2 – uh, we're going to get the trailer, I believe they said it was Thursday. We're finally going to get a trailer. That's so, good. But the question is, is it going to be the actual trailer? Is it going to be, oh, oh, here's a sneak peek of the trailer, which I No, I, I think it's an actual trailer. Okay. Because I, yeah. I hate those. To me, it's so stupid to hear, here's a sneak peek of the trailer. Then oh, I agree. Trailer. I don't like when they do that either. So let me just see if I can get an actual because I want to know what time it's going to air. Um, let me see if we have anything on it. And again, usually there's, there's Holly and news guys um, on the weekends. Uh, let's see. Is there anything? No, the last I heard it was Thursday. So yeah. that's what it's going to be. Um, there's also some stuff coming up. People are starting to speculate about the next Alien movie because they feel that 20th Century Fox needs to make a decision. Um, and tell the public what they're going to do with their franchise. Are they going to end it? Are they going to take a couple year break? What exactly are they going to do with it? So I don't expect them to even answer anybody unless, of course, they, they decide to go ahead with it anyway. I mean, what do you think? You think there's going to be another alien? I'm sorry. With as much as they've screwed it up, this should be one of this and Fantastic Four should be the uh, basically – the top two peers in which they hand over so somebody can make a good and decent alien and fantastic four. They yeah. The chance they screwed it up repeatedly. They've proven that they can't do it, do it. And they just do it. They just put things out so they can hold on to it. No, give fantastic four an alien franchise over to, I hate saying it over to Disney and boom, we can get some, and everybody can have their, uh, Good movies again. I want Fantastic Four. Um, with, yeah. I want but Marvel to buy this stuff. To, and that way, maybe Bloom Camp can come in and uh, do a decent one. I want an alien. Well, imagine Disney having an alien. That would be interesting. I yeah. Oh, Blot and Camp, yeah. I want to screen share this because um, we, I talked about this the other day. This whole Agent Venom nonsense. This is yeah, this is like her. this is like Venom Space Night. And again, this does is. I was wondering if they were going to go that route. You know what? As far as I, everybody when they think of Venom, they don't think of that. In fact, that wasn't really popular with what everybody knew was Venom. That came after, and that wasn't even Eddie Brock. That was the suit bonded with Flash Thompson. Of course, Flash Thompson's a soldier. So yeah. the symbiote's going to be like a soldier type. Yeah. And, and that's not really what Venom is really known for. So, of course, it's not recognizing Spider-Man. Of course, it's not. But that's going to suck. I mean, who the hell wants to see like a RoboCop type 
venom or like you know something. No, but everybody's expecting I'm going to eat your brain's venom. Yeah, that's all they're doing. They're not going to expect that. And when they we see that, they're going to be like Spider Man. And... It's going to be like this. Even if Spider Man's not in it, he's supposed to look like muscle bound over with the yeah. tongue coming out and eat your brains and carnage and whatever. So he's not going to look like that. People are like, what's that? And that's when it's going to bomb. Because if you look at his outfit, uh, the helmet in general, it resembles, I know they probably had that in the co comic book, but to me it resembles Snake Eyes from uh, yes. Sky Joe. He does. And and people are going to get confused and they're not going to, the movie's going to bomb purposely because people are expecting to see Venom. They don't expect mm -hmm. to see a late, they don't even know, I'm telling you right now, if you ask anybody, I bet you like 85% of the people that know about Venom don't know about Venom Space Night. Yeah. And the sales do show because not everybody was a fan of that and they turned them back anyway because it didn't work. So just like when, when they go to the movies, they don't expect to see a female Thor in the comics. They don't expect to see any of this stuff that's totally different. So uh, I'm not for this Venom. I think it sucks and I think it's going to bomb. And they'll see. And then they'll be like, oh, we should have did this. We should have did that. It'll be too late. Yeah. Their, their, their stupid spin-off universe is going to suck. Now, um, we're hearing that the Ant-Man 2 is going to be like a romantic comedy. Oh, rom-com? Oh, no. I don't know if that's going to – I don't know if that's going to work. Well, um, the fact that uh, they, they probably realized, well, since Thor worked out so great as a semi-comedy – Let's go with the rom-com with that man too, because it was supposed to be a comedy in a in a sense with the first one. So right. So you think that's what they're doing? They're making everything comedy now because of Thor Ragnarok. Possibly. Yeah. Because look at how many movies they tried to push out as R after Deadpool. Oh, getting back to Jurassic World: The Fallen Kingdom, it's supposed to be released June twenty second, two thousand eighteen. They said that you know it's probably going to be like you said. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a trailer or a teaser, but you might be right. It might be like a teaser instead, Scott. Um, I don't even know if they're going to show Jeff Goldblum in it because Jeff Goldblum is going to have a small role. But would you show that in the um, the teaser of the trailer? They show it. They'll probably wait till the end, uh, till the, like like the end of the uh, trailer and go. And he makes some little snide, comical comment, and then everybody's like, oh, cool, he's going to be fully in the movie, like they did with uh, Cranston and Godzilla. Yeah. So, oh, they expect, Disney expects, now, now, the Jumanji's Disney or no? I think Jumanji's Disney, I guess. Well, it's expected that Jumanji 2, or whatever the hell Jumanji's called, is going to do huge numbers because of the rock. So that's what I heard. Um, again, you know, anything that the rock touches. Well, look who else is in it too. So you got uh, Karen Gillan, really. Yeah. So yeah. So you're um, going to have pretty much Fast and the Furious, Doctor Who, uh, folks. Pardon me, folks coming uh, coming to see it. Yeah. Uh, we got another thing about Halloween. They were saying how they're going to raise the tension and eliminate the gore. And you know what? Honestly, I'm not looking forward to the new Halloween because I, it's all because of Bragan rights and ego. And there was this yeah. stupid disagreement between John Carpenter and, and Rob Zombie. And Rob Zombie's like, well, you made him immortal. He's like, no, I didn't. So now it's like, well, he's got to change yeah, his he vision. really did because at the end of the movie, you didn't really know whether he died or not. But they kept making his – what he's talking about I mean, is yeah. that they kept making movies after that yeah. where he's like immortal. So, yes, yeah. he is. So, I mean, maybe he didn't mean for that to happen. But don't go back like George Lucas said, hard shot second yeah. and change the whole entire thing to prove a point. So this is not even about money or making money or starting a franchise. This is about John Carpenter altering the way Michael Myers is – even if it fails, just to be like, oh, uh, see, that's the way he's supposed to be. Yeah. So if he gets shot, he's dead. Well, that's stupid, really, um, because he got shot multiple times in the movies and keep coming back and coming back yeah. and coming back. You know, and the whole fact that they're not going to be brother and sister, that's stupid, too. Like, 
Yeah. You've had a million like movies say they were related. Now you're going to say they're not. So I'm, you know what? I don't care about somebody's ego, really. I mean, again, he's, my point is that, and you're like, how could you go against John Crawford? The John Crawford is like old now. He's like, is he really going to be like doing it like, what are they, 77, 80? I mean, him doing it now, like, is he really, would he do that when he was younger? Probably not. You know, he, he did the way he did originally. Yeah. Halloween. So him seeing him doing it now, I wouldn't want to see a Halloween now like that because it's going to, it's, I don't really think it's going to do well at all. I think, and this is going to be a wake up call because, mm -hmm. you know, at some point in time, it's like, you're going to screw up your own thing. And what's going to wind up happening is they're probably going to screw it up so bad that they're going to have to do another one to fix it. Just to fix it. Yeah. Just to fix it. But then you already did the damage. So, I mean, look what they do with Alien Covenant and, oh, and Prometheus, like the you know David invented yeah. xenomorphs. I mean, that's <sighs> yes, we would all love Halloween. We like Daniel Harris as as the, the daughter, but they don't want to do that. And Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah, that's nice, but you got to make sure that Alien, that uh, Halloween too, yeah, happens. And they're not doing it, and they're even altering the. They're saying this is an alternate reality. <sighs> The, they're saying that so that way if it gets screwed up it bombs it's an alternate it reality bombs. Right? it's just some alternate they reality they did that with the Back to the Future comic they're, they're like yeah if you don't like it it's an alternate reality because yeah. people you know they don't know how people are going to react you know it's an alternate reality don't worry about it that's the excuse every time yeah. uh, Justice League yeah it's an alternate reality you want to see another reality check out that flashpoint it's like okay so I, I don't know how much more the Justice League getting back and forth uh, is going to do, but, you know, that is what it is. All right, so we're going to get out of here now, and we're doing something else. Take care, bye for now.